The history of Sultanahmet Square, one of the oldest and most important squares of Istanbul, dates back to the Roman and Byzantine periods respectively. In this square, which was known as the Hippodrome in the Roman and Byzantine periods and as the Horse Square in the Ottoman period, horse and carriage races, musical performances, dance and acrobatic shows, fight shows using wild animals, and important meetings were held. In the Hippodrome area, within the borders of Sultanahmet Square, a few important historical artifacts that have survived from the past to the present are still standing with the magnificence of the first day they were built. The oldest of these is the obelisk. The obelisks raised around the doors of the temples in ancient Egyptian architecture were structures representing the Amun-Ra, the sun god. There are a total of 27 obelisks of different sizes spread around the world that have survived to the present day. The obelisk, which is located in Sultanahmet Square and is about 3,600 years old today, was built by the Egyptian pharaoh Thutmose III and was erected in front of the Temple of Kamak as a symbol of Egypt's victory in Mesopotamia. The Roman Emperor Constantius II brought it to the city of Alexandria over the Nile in honor of the 20th anniversary of his ascension to the throne in 357 AD. In 390 AD, the Eastern Roman Emperor Theodosius I brought the obelisk from Alexandria to Istanbul by ship and had it erected in the Hippodrome Square. Together with its pedestal, it is 25 meters high and weighs 200 tons. On the four sides of the hieroglyphs, there are depictions praising the achievements of Pharaoh Thutmose III and glorifying Amun-Ra, the sun god. There is an inscription in Greek on one side of the pedestal that is under the obelisk and an inscription in Latin on the other. And in the reliefs on the pedestal, the following are emphasized. Hierarchy, authority, social structure, and religious belief.